Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law 11 of the year 2021, adding a new Article 261 to the Penal Code as promulgated by Decree Law 15 of the year 1976. The new article reads as follows. If there are multiple participants in one of the crimes stipulated in this chapter and one of the offenders hastens to report it to the judicial or administrative authorities before seals, signatures, stamps, imprints, public signs, metal plates, counterfeit or forged poster stamps are used and before the preliminary investigation begins, this is considered a legally mitigating excuse and he or she may be exempted from punishment if the judge deems it appropriate. The provisions of the preceding paragraph shall apply to the offender who enables the authorities to apprehend the other perpetrators of the crime during the investigation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met today with the Minister of Economy of the sisterly United Arab Emirates, Abdullah bin Tog Al Marri, on the sidelines of their participation in the St. Petersburg's International Economic Forum and the Russian Federation. During the meeting, they emphasized the depth of the bilateral ties in various fields and reviewed the efforts further developing them in the interests of the two countries and people. The head, of, the head of Bashkortostan, Radi Khabirov, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. Khabirov welcomed the minister, expressing appreciation for the bilateral ties, stressing the importance of exchanging visits between officials to enhance friendship and cooperation. He entrusted the Minister of Foreign Affairs with conveying his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing Bahrain further development and growth. For his part, Dr. Zayani expressed his pleasure with his visit to Russia in the form and praised the bilateral ties on all levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Speaker of the National Assembly of Serbia, Evik Dacic. The Minister expressed his pride in the bilateral relations and stressed keenness to further develop them bilaterally. Dr. Zayani also praised the result of the recent visit of Serbia to Bahrain and the talks he had with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which revealed a mutual desire to develop the bilateral ties. He noted the successful visit of the representative of his Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to Serbia last April, which contributed to the consolidation of bilateral cooperation frameworks between the two friendly countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, also met the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Trade of Hungary, Peter Cesarto. During the meeting, they emphasized the strength of bilateral relations and the growing ties on all levels and reviewed modalities to enhance joint bilateral cooperation for common interests, besides issues and topics of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Russian Deputy Foreign Minister and Presidential Special Envoy for the Middle East and Africa, Mikhail Bogdanov. During the meeting, the two sides stressed the depth of the bilateral ties, which are based on mutual respect and appreciation. The two sides also reviewed developments in the Middle East and its political and security challenges to reinstate permanent comprehensive peace for the benefit of its people, along with a number of topics of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Chairman of the Presidium of the Russian Associate for International Cooperation, Sergei Klashnikov, and Secretary General of the Associate, Vladimir Polotskov. During the meeting, the Minister noted the close and ever-growing relations between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation and expressed the keenness to develop economic, industrial, and commercial cooperation in the interests of the two friendly countries and people. For his part, Klashnikov expressed his appreciation for the bilateral ties and noted the Russian Federation's aspirations to strengthen them further, strengthening them on all levels, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and advancement. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Chairman of the Russian Defense and Foreign Affairs Council, Fyodor Lukyanov. The meeting discussed the bilateral ties between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation and the ways in which they can be further enhanced. Matters of mutual interest, including those relating to the region's security, were also discussed in the meeting. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Russian President's advisor, Anton Kobyalikov. The minister discussed the long history of the city and praised the conference as it represents a platform to exchange ideas on political and economic challenges. He praised the bilateral ties and the two countries' keenness to further develop them. For his part, Kobyakov welcomed the minister's participation and praised the kingdom's keenness to develop the bilateral ties. He looked forward to increasing investment opportunities, wishing the kingdom ongoing progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met the President of the Moscow State Institute of International Relations, Dr. Anatoly Vaslevich Torkonov. During the meeting, they reviewed the close friendship relations between Bahrain and Russia. The continuous development ties are witnessing at various levels and means of enhancing joint cooperation between Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Moscow State Institute of International Relations in various academic, training and research fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also visited the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. He was received by the director of the museum, Mikhail Petrovsky. The minister toured the museum and viewed the various items. He concluded his visit by wishing his administration well. The national football team achieved a victory of 8-0 in the match against its Cambodian counterpart in the qualifiers for the 2022 FIFA World Cup and the 2023 Asian Cup. With this result, Bahrain national team topped Group C with 12 points ahead of Iraq and Iran, the most prominent contenders for the group ticket. The national team's historical scorer, Ismail Abdel Latif, concluded the goals by scoring the seventh and eighth goals. The leaders of each Asian group qualified for the final round of the World Cup qualifiers along with the four best second place teams in the eighth groups. And these teams also get the qualification cards for the 2023 Asian Cup finals. The Minister of Health, Faiq Saleh, held a virtual meeting with the Middle East Director of the WHO who praised the efforts of the WHO and its ongoing cooperation with the Kingdom in terms of strategy development, affirmed the importance of further enhancing the relations between the two parties. For his part, the WHO a Regional Director praised the leading role of the Kingdom in the field of health and expressed his admiration for its achievements in dealing with the pandemic, which he said is a model to be emulated. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 held a press conference to provide an update on the Kingdom's COVID-19 response. The task force highlighted the important role played by citizens and residents in supporting national efforts aimed at combating COVID-19, including following all precautionary measures. They added that the commitment of all to the mitigation, or mitigation measures over the last few days has had a positive effect on flattening the curve of infection. The Undersecretary at the Ministry of Health, members of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Dr. Walid Khalifa Al-Mana highlighted the decision made last week to raise the capacity of the number of daily vaccination doses to 31,000 across 31 health centers across the kingdom. He said this had significantly reduced the waiting time for vaccinations to between one to five days. Speaking on community awareness, the Director of Operations of the Public Security Presidency, Colonel Hamad Al-Khayyat, emphasized the importance of following all health and medical measures as a national and social responsibility in support of national efforts to combat COVID-19. Colonel Al-Khayyat confirmed that the Ministry of Interior had taken legal measures against violators of quarantine and precautionary isolation by referring them to the public prosecution for not complying with the requirements stipulated in the relevant laws. Colonel Hayat concluded by underlining that the anti-cyber crime department monitored a number of rumors and took legal measures against their promoters, calling on citizens and residents to avoid rumors and to not circulate misinformation that would negatively affect society. He stressed the need to obtain information from other source, official sources. Then the infection disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital, member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, COVID-19, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf Al-Ghahtani, stressed that achieving of the goal to reduce case numbers of the measures announced last week depends largely on the extent to which everyone adheres to the procedures or in, and in the initiatives to take this vaccination. For her part, the consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmania Medical Complex and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19, Dr. Jamila Salman, highlighted that the delay in reporting symptoms caused the deterioration of the health of some existing cases. She therefore called on everyone, especially the elderly, to report symptoms quickly so that they can be assessed at a treatment center quickly to determine their health condition.
The Customs President and King Fahad Causeway General Authority KFCA Vice Chairman Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Governor of the Saudi General Authority of Zakat and Tax GAZT and Chairman of the KFCA Sahil Mohammed Abanme who paid an inspection visit to the exit point at the King Fahad Causeway. He stressed that the KFCA projects and plans to enhance performance, develop systems and optimize the use of modern technologies in order to serve this vital facility that that links the two countries and to contribute to raising the efficiency of work and means to support the tourism and commercial movement. GAZT Governor thanked KFCA Vice Chairman for his keenness on supporting and following up on the implementation of projects commending the efforts of the Security Directorate on the Bahraini side of the causeway. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 969,225 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 805,845 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 26,863 with 3,005 recoveries, 1,936 registered new cases and 22 deaths. 868 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,064 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.